Hi all, welcome to ESI Cloud Trainings. My name is Shali Nerella. Let's get started with Telvumi Atomsphere Basic Training Day 12 session. The agenda plan for today is we'll discuss about clean shape, find changes shape, process route shape and document cache shape. So we'll see how data is sent to document cache and how we'll retrieve data out of it. Right? So let's get started. So now let's create a folder day 12. Day 12 and create a process. So let's start with there one scenario where you've got the flat file from source and you'll have to transform it into XML file and send it to the target. Okay. So now let my source be disk here. So I'll take a disk connector and action get. So connect use the connection instead. I'll create a new one. Okay. So if I go here, I have cleansed demo file. I'll copy this path and I'll paste it here. Okay. So this is done. Let's create the operation as well. I'll name this as cleanse disk connected operation close. So convert, create a new map and I'll name okay. Create your create a new profile. I'll employee employee cleanse flat file profile. Import this so so say comma delim imported delimited here so from cleanse demo file and you'll see the profile been created xml profile which already exists so under day five i have contacts xml so let's reuse this i'll my map some fields random fields okay so main state right so okay now okay uh, so instead of target i'll just place stop here and say okay so let's execute this process save and load. see the data here you'll be able to see the mapping done from flat file to xml but now say some restrictions so he have given some restrictions on your source profile so let's say that and also say on some field we have field length validation so say min length should be 8 and max length should be 10 so some kind of field length validation meet this requirement so now if i go here and if i open this particular file if i open this particular file So see now this has been opened and uh, say because employer ID is mandatory field, right? I've removed this mandatory field from here. Okay, so I've removed this mandatory field. Now if say I executed this process now. So let's see what had happened. Employer ID is a mandatory field and it's not coming from source. In that case, what had happened? Your process has failed. Your process has failed with invalid data element, mandatory element empty. So your complete process halts there. And uh, in order to overcome this, we have two options to go with try catch where you can send the document to catch block without your process to fail. But what Boomi also provides as an option is a cleanse ship. You can re reject the document or you can repair it. You can repair it. So we'll see that how now. So I've taken the cleanse ship. I'll select the profile type as flat file and I'll cleanse data using the profile. So we have created that date well. So this is our profile. Now, if you see here the profile tree, it tells you the restrictions that are there. See here, this element is mandatory. This element is mandatory. So if you see here, if it is empty, if the value is empty from source, then no repair, reject the document. Either you can reject the document or set a default value. By setting a default value, you can repair the document. So without letting the document to fail, you can set some default value by your own. Right? So that this way you can either repair or reject the document. And now for state, if you see, we have set minimum and maximum length validations, right? So you'll be able to see here if 
the data is too short reject the document or you can prepend character to pad length or you can append character to pad length right even here this element has maximum length restriction so here you can see if it is too long trim leading characters or trim trailing characters so like this you can either repair or reject the document now for example employee id i've given this and i've set a default value so it is not coming from source so i've set the value 101 here okay so to cleanse i'll have to send each document right so i have to send each document to cleanse shapes so i will use data process here i'll have to split the document data process so split you split documents so flat file split by line written first line as column headers and i'll name this as split documents split documents so this i'll place next to disk and cleanse read or rejected data to the map shape so this is done now if i execute this particular process see here this is executed now if i see the data here if i see the first one first document see here company 101 so though this is not coming from source we have given 101 so if you see here this is the data going into clenship see here we don't have employee id so this way you can repair the document now for example i want to reject it so i'll go here click on employee id so i will repair uh, reject this document so i'll click here reject so now let's save and execute see here the document got rejected so if you see here the document you'll be able to see the rejected document here see this is the rejected document now if you want to get the error message similarly for try catch have we got the message if you want to get that you can put a message shape here so i'll say the error message is and go to document property go here so metadata under base you we have cleanse result message so i'll give cleanse result message okay so let's now execute this so the cleanse shape enables you to validate document field values and either repair or reject the document before further processing right? the cleanse shape uses a profile to determine which restrictions to validate the restrictions are defined on uh, are the restrictions are defined in the profile at the field level the restrictions defined on repeating or detail level elements are automatically performed for each instance the available restrictions differ slightly between different types of profiles but they include mandatory check minimum and maximum length checks date and numeric data type and formatting checks right for each element you can configure how to handle each restriction violation either reject the document or repair the value the repair options vary based on the type of restriction it is important to understand that the entire document will be rejected immediately upon first violation subsequent restrictions are not violated if integration scenario has single batch file then you will need to split and then send right so now if i see the message here see here it gives me the message so it says employee id mandatory element is missing right 
So that's about clenchship. And remember one thing.